According to the American Institute of Stress, 55% of Americans feel stressed during the day. That number might be much higher lately, given the barrage of heavy and stressful news. Among the tried and true ways to relieve stress, working out. Joey Thurman has done plenty of that. That's how you look like that. He is a celebrity fitness and nutrition expert who has appeared on TV shows across the country and written about his strategies in a best-selling book. Here is that book. It is called The Minimum Method, The Least You Can Do to Be a Stronger, Healthier, Happier You. It is available now. Here is that book. That sounds like a really good pitch. Joey Thurman back with us. Great to see you, my friend. Great being back here. That was, that was a nice setup, man. Um, so... Obviously, a lot of people feel overwhelmed with everything that's happened in the news. I certainly have. Can you talk about the, the actual value of literally going outside and doing a workout? Yeah, I mean, whether you're going outside, you're taking a walk, you know, whatever the workout is for you. I think people think like a working out is, you know, sweaty and sprinting. And, you know, if you're outside and you're moving, you're doing some resistance training, squats, anything like that, that can really help with the stress and stress mitigation tactics and make you more resilient to stressors that approach you in life and make you feel so much better. I mean, it, you literally feel your whole everything yeah. change, right? Just from... Because sometimes I feel like exercise forces you to be present in a scenario, whereas you can drown out the noise of everything else going on in the world. Yeah, I mean, I think when people do that, like be present, get your workout in, maybe put your phone away, put it down, and just be there with yourself. How many times in a day do you get that 20, 30 minutes or an hour just to yourself? Let people know your loved ones, where you're at, you're at the gym, whatever they can call the gym. It's okay. Like, yeah. get, get that stress mitigation in, you know, lift some weights, you know, do anything. It, hit a bag, you'll be good. Yeah, so you call it the three P's of dealing with stress. Yes. Practices, perceptions, and physiology. What, what do you mean by that? Yeah, so um, I went to uh, metabolism school, so functional nutrition metabolism specialist. So we, we talk about the three three P's. So this is you know, your practices, your, your daily life. This could be your diet, carb counting, fasting, walking, anything like that. Um, your perceptions, how you're perceiving the world around you, your stressors, your practices and perceptions help your physiology. So how you're able to adapt to those stressors so if you're handling those three p's that will actually help you know how you're looking as well and and in the book you also get into these master practices of what you can do so mm -hmm. let's go through some of them in terms of how to change up your life eliminate simplify things yeah simplify sometimes you need to simplify and eliminate some people in your life if you can <laughs> i mean it happens right there's yeah. toxic people sometimes you can't give right. it to family but if you can eliminate eliminate that eliminate you know saying yes all the time i'm sure you get pulled in many different directions saying yes 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 sometimes your yes is never as powerful until you learn to say no eliminate bad foods all of these things can uh, affect your stress and your stress load which will just make you look and feel worse and it seems simple but but do what you like too exactly do do what you like do what you love you know, I mean, napping, sleeping, these are good things. Um, working out, taking a walk out, outside, do what you love, you know, be with your dog, your kids, anything like that, that will make you more resilient to the stressors because you're actually having fun with it. And it's not, it doesn't seem stressful to work out, right? And, and some people are so busy, they, they don't take time for themselves. You say, like, literally mark it off on your calendar. We're doing downtime yeah. or journaling or whatever it is that makes you feel good. Yeah, you know, instead of sometimes working out, focus on working in, journal, you know, do some yoga practices, any Tai Chi, anything like that, put that 30 minutes in your calendar and make that a non-negotiable. I have some C-suite executives and movie stars. They put that in there and they say, I'm in a meeting. You don't need to say you're with your trainer or you're working out. I, I'm in a meeting. I'm doing something for myself right now. And that's going to help me in the long run. That's going to help my life, my work, everything. Great tips, Joey. Thanks so much. And you can see more of these tips in the book. Again, it's called The Minimum Method, The Least You Can Do to Be a Stronger, Healthier, Happier You. And maybe, just maybe, you'll look like Joey Thurman. That's right. And, and be happier. <laughs> Congratulations on that as well. Thank Looking you. good, my friend. Appreciate it. Joey Thurman, thanks it. Back to you.